हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ हाइड्रोडायनामिक बेरिंग सो वी नो दैट द डिजाइन ऑफ हाइड्रोडायनामिक बेरिंग इज डन बाय द रेमोंडियन बॉयल चार्ट द रेमोंडियन बॉयल चार्ट इंक्लूड्स द वेरियस द परफॉर्मेंस पैरामीटर फॉर द जर्नल बेरिंग एंड वेयर द वेरियस यूनिटलेस पैरामीटर्स आर मेंशन एज एल बाय डी एच अपॉन सी then somer cell number r upon c into f then q divided by r c and sl then q is upon q various unitless parameters this is the numerical which have is only small trick and we will solve this numerical this kind of numerical was uh, generally asked in a exam spcu exam for the minimum 8 marks maximum 12 marks so the following Uh, we will discuss this numerical the following data is given for 360 degree hydrodynamic bearing the journal speed is equal to 1500 rpm journal diameter is equal to 100 mm bearing length is 50 mm minimum oil film thickness is equal to 0. 0.15 mm viscosity of lubricant equal to 30 centipoise the fit between journal and bearing is h7 e7 for which the whole diameter is equal to 100 plus 0.00 and again the lower value is again provided plus 0. 035 mm so upper limit lower limit is specified for the whole diameter then shaft diameter 100 mm upper limit and lower limit like this minus 0.072 lower limit minus 0.107 mm then the specified load carrying capacity of given hydrodynamic bearing and for that one ramondi and boil chart is provided as already uh, in given the journal bearing uh, diameter is 100 mm and bearing length is a uh, 50 mm so 50 divided by 100 it is 1/2 so l by d ratio is 1/2 we will solve this numerical after writing the given so Uh, in given ns we know the rps is ne needed for the calculation of hydrodynamic bearing so ns is equal to what may be the rpm is provided it is 1500 divided by 60 is equal to 25 rps so mu is the viscosity of lubricant and it is 30 centipoise convert that centipoise into newton second per mm square So 30 centipoise is equal to 30 into 10 raised to minus 9 newton second per mm square. The d is 100 mm. N uh, L is the length is a 50 mm. H O is the minimum oil film thickness is provided as 0.015 mm. If the manufacturing process are centered, the average diameter of bearing and journal has to be calculated so capital d a is indicating the corresponding whole diameter small d a indicates the corresponding uh, diameter of journal or shaft so 100 100 plus the upper limit and lower limit divided by 2 because we are calculating the average diameter for bearing and journal so this is d capital d average for the bearing is equal to 100 plus upper limit plus lower limit so upper limit was 0.00 and plus 0.035 and divide this and take an average of this upper limit and lower limit and we will get 100 is uh, sorry uh, the capital d a is equal to 
175 mm then the corresponding journal diameter is equal to average uh, diameter so corresponding diameter average of journal so small da is equal to 100 plus lower upper limit plus lower limit both are negative here so we can uh, say negative negative again the addition minus will take place so uh, it is minus 0 0.107 minus 0 0.072 divided by 2 that will give you the average diameter for the corresponding journal so it is equal to 99.9105 mm so radial clearance radial clearance is small c is equal to the average diameter for bearing capital d minus small d divided by 2 we know the definition of clearance it is capital r minus small r the corresponding gap between the bearing and the journal so we already calculated the average diameter so to make the calculation of c as a da minus small da divided by 2 and the corresponding value for the radial clearance we will get is equal to 0 0.0535 mm so this is the c we got as we are having ho as we are having ho minimum oil film thickness and we are able to calculate the small c by using this corresponding tolerances the upper limit and lower limit as provided uh, for the h7 e7 uh, for the 100 mm diameter we calculated this radial clearance after calculation of this radial clearance we are able to calculate the h upon c so we will calculate the h upon c and then we will go for the chart so minimum oil film thickness divided by clearance so minimum oil film thickness was given as a 0 0.015 divided by the calculated clearance 0 0.0 535 and it is equal to h upon c is equal to 0 0.28 so we got the 0 0.28 so we got the l by d ratio as one half and h upon c is equal to this 0 0.28 so after looking to the chart we will see the chart first in this chart the l by d ratio is one half and correspondingly HO we are having H upon C we are having as the 0 0.28 so 0 0.28 will be lie between these two means 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 in between these two the uh, corresponding case of H upon C 0 0.28 will be lie so uh, we need to generate the solution or corresponding row in for the in between these two values so uh, <coughs> h upon c is equal to 0 0.28 is lies between the 0 0.2 and 0 0.4 hence the value of all dimensionless parameter corresponding to HO upon C 0 0.28 are calculated by linear interpolation. So how to do the linear interpolation in previous lecture we already learned. For, the, for that linear interpolation in HO upon C 0 0.2 for, the, for that 0 0.2 S is equal to go to the chart and from that chart write down the corresponding value so corresponding value is the s is equal to 0 0.0923 and then intermediate value which where we have to calculate the s and for that one h upon c is equal to 0 0.28 and for that one s is unknown so i return a question mark then next case is that for h upon c the 
here 0.2 and then next one is the 0.4. So I am writing the edge upon C for 0.4 is equal to 0.4 and for that one S value is from the chart is this one. So how to do the linear interpolation again a simple trick we are having in previous lecture we learned that one. The intermediate value minus upper value so corresponding yes minus upper value 0 0.0923 divided by lower value 0 0.319 minus upper value 0 0.0923 so unknown minus upper divided by lower minus upper which is equal to the intermediate values value minus upper value divided by lower value minus upper value. From the chart we uh, taken this one and then corresponding formal failed number will be calculated as S is equal to 0 0.18298. So this is the Sommer failed number. And we in this numerical, they ask that we have to calculate the capital W, load carrying capacity of the bearing. So, Sommerfeld number carries a small p, where small p is equal to W upon L by D. So, we are calculating this Sommerfeld number. So, Sommerfeld number is equal to, yes, is equal to R upon C bracket square mu ns upon small p. So c uh, sorry so s is already calculated by us by using linear interpolation. So calculated uh, s we return is equal to the corresponding r 100 divided by 2 so 50 then corresponding c calculated by us so 0 0.053 and bracket square then 30 centi boy so 30 into 10 raised to minus 9 then uh, ns is a 25 for that one small p is unknown calculate the small p and that small p will be equal to 3.58 newton per mm square but we know that the small p bearing pressure is load per projected area so capital w is the load and projected area is the L into D. So we can calculate the corresponding W. So corresponding W can be calculated by using this. So small p is equal to W into L into D. Uh, so calculate the W and that W will be 17,900 Newton. Hence, this numerical can be calculated, can be solved. Again, I am giving a small recap for the numerical. Here we have to find the W and for that W we have to calculate the corresponding uh, clearances. Here in this numerical, they provided the corresponding fit H7, E7. H7, E7. For that one, the upper tolerance, lower uh, tolerance, upper limit, lower limit tolerances are provided. And from the using that value, we have to calculate the clearance. So, how to calculate the clearance? Uh, we uh, taken the average diameter. So, average diameter is equal to the diameter plus the upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. And that will be the corresponding value. So we know that the uh, uh, bearing uh, radius minus the journal radius means diameter divided by 2, diameter divided by 2. So diameter minus diameter divided by 2 and the corresponding the radial clearance will be calculated. As H upon C was given, from that one we calculated the H upon C and the we done the linear interpolation. From that linear interpolation we can calculate the yes and that yes is helpful for the calculation of w now um, 
next numerical we will uh, solve and uh, that numerical you can I will give you the uh, I will not give you the complete solution but I, within this numerical I will give the flow chart or flow how to solve this numerical so this numerical is hydrodynamic bearing has diameter and length Uh, okay, uh, sorry for this. Uh, this numerical is already solved by us in previous lecture. So I am closing this lecture. Uh, thank you everyone. If you are having any query, feel free to contact me. Uh, thank you. Thank you everyone.